In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on February 23, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like access to our exclusive betting picks where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and more, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Now let's get started. Edmonton Oilers vs Tampa Bay Lightning The Edmonton Oilers face the Tampa Bay Lightning with both teams playing great across the board this season. The Oilers have won 28 of their 50 games while the Lightning have won 32 of their 49 games this season. The Oilers are looking to make up ground in the Pacific Division while the Lightning look to leap into first place in the Atlantic Division and the upcoming game should be a great one as a result. The Edmonton Oilers face the Tampa Bay Lightning with both teams playing great across the board this season. The Oilers have won 28 of their 50 games while the Lightning have won 32 of their 49 games this season. The Oilers are looking to make up ground in the Pacific Division while the Lightning look to leap into first place in the Atlantic Division and the upcoming game should be a great one as a result. In Tampa Bay's 49 games, they have an above .500 record against the spread, going 35-18. to 18. On the season, the Tampa Bay Lightning have a per-game scoring differential of 0.61. Heading into their game with the Edmonton Oilers, the Lightning have a 3-2 record over their past five contests. In these games, they have scored 17 goals, accounting for 55% of the overall scoring. In five-on-five -five situations, the Tampa Bay Lightning have a shooting percentage of 8.9%, placing them above the league average. Their shooting efficiency is a key reason for their offensive success as they are also generating 5-on-5 five five scoring chances at an above average rate. The Tampa Bay Lightning money line is our full game side pick. Edmonton has seen the over hit in 24 of their 50 games this season, with two pushes on the books. The Oilers have seen an average total of 6.52 goals per game this season and that number drops slightly to an average of 6.44 goals per contest on the road this year. Tampa Bay has seen the over go 27-21-1 to to in their 49 games this season. The Lightning have posted an average total of 6.16 goals per game this season. That number drops down to 5.46 goals per contest when they are the home team on the season. Even with the offensive weaponry on display here, you have to think that this one winds up short of the total as Vasowski helps keep the number in check. So under the projected total is our full game total pick. Winnipeg Jets vs Dallas Stars The Winnipeg Jets face the Dallas Stars with both teams hoping to rebound from rough starts to the season. The Jets have only won 22 of their 50 games while the Stars have won 27 of their 49 games this season. Both teams are looking to make up ground in the Central Division and the Western Conference and the upcoming game should be a good one as a result. In Winnipeg's 50 games, they have an above .500 record against the spread, going 28-23. So far, the Jets have been a good bet on the road as they have covered in 17 of their 28 road games. On the other side, Dallas has not taken advantage of playing in their home arena, covering the spread just 12 times in 27 home games. This is going to be a great game between two teams eager to make up ground in the Central Division. The Stars are looking to win on their home ice but the Jets can exploit mismatches throughout the game. The Jets should constantly find the back of the net with Kyle Connor, Andrew Kopp, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with great centering passes. The Jets should also limit the Stars' offense with Brendan Dillon, Neil Pionk, and the rest of the defensive unit creating turnovers in the defensive zone and limiting shots on the net allowing goaltender Connor Hellebuyck to make plenty of easy saves. The Winnipeg Jets' money line is our full game side pick. The Jets and Stars are poised to pile on the goals and it's easy to think the upcoming game will be a high-scoring one as a result. However, both teams are led by their defenses and look to step up and control this game against two struggling offenses. The Stars should limit the Jets' top-heavy offense with Ryan Suter, Essa Lindell, and the rest of the defensive unit creating turnovers in the defensive zone and limiting shots on the net allowing goaltender Jake Odinger to make plenty of easy saves. The Jets, meanwhile, should eliminate and potentially shut out the Stars' struggling offense with Brendan Dillon, Neil Pionk, Logan Stanley, and the rest of the defensive unit forcing turnovers in the neutral zone and defensive zone alike while Connor Hellebuyck blanks shots on the net. So under the projected total is our full game total pick. 
Colorado Avalanche vs. Detroit Red Wings This Wednesday, the Colorado Avalanche will travel to Detroit. Am I to take on the Detroit Red Wings? The last time these two teams played, the Colorado Avalanche was able to walk away with a 7-3 win. The Avalanche are entering this game after suffering one of their worst losses of the season. They fell to the Boston Bruins, 5-1. They couldn't get anything going and looked unmotivated for most of the third period. The Detroit Red Wings are coming into this game after defeating the New York Rangers. 3-2. The Red Wings were able to win 36 face-offs and control the puck more than the Rangers. In Colorado's 50 games, they have an above .500 record against the spread, going 35.17. So far, the Avalanche have been a good bet on the road as they have covered in 15 of their 26 road games. On the season, the Colorado Avalanche have a per-game scoring differential of 1.12. Even when playing on the road, the team is winning games by an average margin of 0.58 goals. Heading into their game with the Detroit Red Wings, the Avalanche have a 3-2 record over their past five contests. In these games, they have scored 13 goals, accounting for 52% of the overall scoring. I expect the Avalanche to stay hot versus a Red Wings unit that has gone 5-5 over their last 10 games. The Colorado Avalanche money line is our full game side pick. In the last game that these two played against each other, they were able to combine for a total of 10 goals. The Avalanche were also held to just one goal in their last game. I have a good feeling that they will come out aggressive and ready to show the league that the last game against Boston was a complete fluke. The Avalanche are one of the fastest teams in the league and have the ability to score multiple goals in the blink of an eye. They are taking the fifth most shots per game in the NHL and the Red Wings are taking the 26th. I am slightly worried about the Red Wings' ability to score on Colorado, but they will be able to tally up enough goals to push this total over. The Red Wings are also ranked 28th in the league in overall save percentage, as all of their goalies have only saved 0.895% of the shots that they have faced. Coming into this game, the Avalanche have an over-under record of 27-28-1. When playing on the road, the over is hitting less than half the time, going 13-14-1. On the season, 66% of Colorado's games have gone for at least six goals or more, with 57% of the scoring coming from the Avalanche. On the other side, the Red Wings have an over-under record of 21-34-1. When playing on the road, the over is hitting less than half the time, going 8-20-0. On the season, 57% of Detroit's games have gone for at least six goals or more, with 45% of the scoring coming from the Red Wings. This Colorado Avalanche offense has too much talent. Look for Colorado's offense to have a big night scoring, pushing this game over the posted betting line. So over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.